Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show the game Thin Lang and Lampert that was played in Berlin in 1903. Lang had white pieces and he started with e4. Lampert played e5. Knight to f3, attacking the pawn on e5, defending bishop to c4, Italian opening. Bishop to c5, c3, preparing d4. Knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4, d4, e takes on d4, c takes on d4, bishop to b4 check, knight to c3, knight takes pawn on e4, white castle kingside, knight takes on c3, alternative move is bishop takes on c3, and then white would play usually d5, the strongest move. Knight to e5, attacking the bishop. Pawn takes bishop. Knight takes on c4. Queen to d4, and black would cast looking side. So in this position, black captured the knight with knight. Pawn takes knight, and black played bishop to e7. If bishop takes on c3, then one of the moves is bishop takes pawn on f7, or simply queen to b3. And if bishop takes rook, bishop takes on f7 check, king to f8, bishop to g5, and white is better. So in the game we have bishop to e7, d5, knight to a5 attacking the bishop. How should white continue? Move the bishop to d3 or b5? What do you think? This is what white played. d6, interesting isn't it? Attacking the bishop on e7. If pawn takes on d6, what then? Well, there is an interesting continuation. And that is bishop takes pawn on f7, check. King takes bishop, check. King to e8, knight to g5, rook to f8, and perhaps knight takes on h7. This may be very uncomfortable for black. So in the game we have bishop takes on d6. Rook to e1 check. If king goes to f8, what happens then? Then bishop takes on f7. And after king takes, check. And after king to f8, bishop to g5 is winning for white. So let's go back to our game. In this position, black played bishop to e7. Bishop to g5. 6. It is white move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? If you wish, you can pause the video and you can try to find the killer move that white played in this position. Are you ready? What did you find? Bishop to h4? Is that a killer move? This is what white played. Bishop takes on f6. Pawn takes bishop. Why did white sacrifice? The bishop. Can you guess now? Knight to e5, clearing the path for the queen. And if, for example, pawn takes knight, then queen to h5 check, and after king to f8, queen to f7 check mate. So in the game, black played h5, queen to d3. Queen is coming to g6. Rook to h6, defending. Queen to d5. Queen is coming now to g8. Rook to h7. Queen to g8, check. Bishop to f8. What would you play now if you had white pieces? Knight to g6 was played in the game. 
discover check from the rook. Rook to e7. And it is possible to give checkmate in three different ways. Well, one way is bishop to f7, that's the move played in the game. Another way is queen to f7, a checkmate. And queen takes on f8, a checkmate. Interesting game, isn't it? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.